In the past, there was almost nothing in Korea. It was a nation that was cut in half with destroyed industrial facilities. But Korea as a nation could not just sit by and watch. So it started to get to work. Plants were starting to be constructed in the wastelands, and the pillars of the industry were working around the clock filling those plants. Now you can see the historic place that is famous for its slogan, the miracle of the Han River, which summarizes the history of the Republic of Korea over the last half a century. In the 1960s, a project began to strengthen the basis of the Korean economy. In 1962, after establishing a five-year economic developmental plan, the Korean government designated Ulsan as a special industrial district. It was the first industrial district that realized a planned location in Korean history. The government and company's strong will to improve the economy was a driving force that changed Ulsan, which was a small fishery district back then, into an advanced base for Korea's industrialization. In 1964, an industrial complex was made in Kurodong of Seoul to promote exports. It was a starting point for the legendary story of Export Korea. Large-scaled industrialization projects in a poor country without any economic foundation. It was an adventure that could not be guaranteed to succeed. Korea Export Industrial Complex, also well known as Guro Industrial Complex, kick-started Export Korea's development. In the 1970s, Guro Industrial Complex came to account for 10% of Korea's exports, serving as a locomotive of Export Korea. Ulsan Industrial Complex, a heartland of the nation's basic industry, expanded its field into the car and shipbuilding industry. It became the first and the largest coastal industrial complex in Korea. Based on the successful establishment of industrial complexes in the 1960s, Korea set an economic system focusing on industrial complexes in earnest. Industrial complexes entered into a full-blown developmental period. In 1973, the government announced that the heavy chemical industry was to be introduced to Korea. This technology capital intensive industry was pushed to become part of the export industry promotional plans. Moreover, Kumi National Industrial Complex, constructed near Nakdong River, started to write a new history of Korea's electronics industry. Kumi National Industrial Complex is a place where the miracle of Korea's electronics industry took place. However, the beginning was not that easy. <laughs> Now, Kumi National Industrial Complex is becoming the hub of the global electronics industry. In the complex, world-leading electronics companies and IT companies are doing business. Korea's industrial complexes that entered the growth period were upgraded to the next level, accelerating Korea's growth at an ultra-high speed. To begin with, in 1973, a large-scale general industrial complex that adopted the concept of industrial city was constructed in Changwon to nurture the machine industry. It was for the sake of building the pillar of Korean economy which was lagging behind in the world. The next crucial project started in the Gwangyang Bay area. In 1967, Yachan Industrial Complex that began to be constructed in stages was developed into the biggest heavy chemical industrial complex for petrochemistry and the fertilizer industry. The industrial arteries of Korea's heavy chemicals were completed in southeast coast, serving as a foundation of Korean industry and a driving force for the rapid growth of the economy. Since the late 1970s, Korea's policies on industrial complexes faced a turning point. To begin with, 
the government started to create special industrial complexes dedicated to small and medium-sized companies in order to disperse the population and industries that flock to the metropolitan areas. They are Panwal National Industrial Complex, Namdong National Industrial Complex, and Shiwa National Industrial Complex. When constructing Panwal National Industrial Complex, the new industrial city that was created for the first time in metropolitan areas, a new industrial city that was to offer dwelling, education and life environment was also planned. After that, a salt pond in the west side of Panwal National Industrial Complex was reclaimed, creating Shiwa National Industrial Complex. Panwal Shiwa National Industrial Complex came to form the industrial belt of the west coast. In Incheon, Namdong National Industrial Complex was constructed, serving as a foothold for component materials. The change of industrial complexes in the transforming period served as a locomotive for nurturing small and medium-sized companies. Industrial complexes in Korea faced another change in the 1990s. Going from being a land-focused industrial complex into an industrial complex that focuses on humans, the industry, and the environment. This is when Korea's industrial complex was upgraded from manufacturing business-focused industrial complex to a new industrial complex. Concepts of the knowledge industry and the high-tech industry were introduced and systems to nurture them were put in place. The case in point is Paju Publication, Culture and Information Industrial Complex. It has complicated features that are seen in culture cities. It is still in the process of developing into an eco-friendly knowledge industrial complex. As complexes became specialized, technology-intensive industrial complexes began to be built. The case in point is clusters, which have both corporations and laboratories. For example, in Guangzhou High-Tech Science Industrial Complex, major three optical electronics laboratories and related supporting agencies are operating, emerging as systematic optical clusters. At the time when high-tech industrial complexes were emerging, the Korean economy faltered due to the IMF financial crisis. The economic system focused on major companies and quantitative growth led to weak industrial strength. At that time, the magic bullet was the huge efforts that were made by manufacturing companies. Moreover, industrial complexes served a crucial role for that. Korea's industrial complexes are leapfrogging again. Do you remember Kuro Industrial Complex filled with female factory workers? Kuro Industrial Complex, which kept transforming in accordance with changing trends, was reborn as the sole digital national industrial complex. Korea's industrial complexes of this period are transforming from complexes focused on the manufacturing industry into a place that creates new industries. In the last half a century, Korea Industrial Complex Corporation served as a background for development and upgrade of industrial complexes. In 1964, when Korea Export Industrial Complex was created, Korea Export Industrial Estates Corporation was established. In 1997, complexes in five regions including Central, Southeastern, Western and Southwestern regions were combined into Korea Industrial Complex Corporation. Now, Korea Industrial Complex Corporation, a specialized organization for industrial complexes, serves as an essential role for the Korean economy by developing and managing industrial complexes and supporting industrial activities of companies. Korea, which was a nation that relied on foreign aids, has now become the ninth largest economy in terms of trade scale. Korea, whose national income per capita was less than $100, now sees its per capita income as $20,000. In the last 50 years, industrial complexes enriched the national economy and in the future will become a new industrial complex that will lead Korea's sustainable growth. Behind the scene, 
The pillars of the industry were working around the clock. 오늘의 한국이 거저되는 아니지 않습니까? 막 이런 기능공이 헌신적으로 참 일을 했기에 말하자면 오늘의 이름과 우리의 산업 대국 수출 대비 이런 그 풍요로운 대한민국이 있었다고 봐서 오늘 살고 있는 우리 젊은이들이 그, 그 당시에 그 선배들에 대한 그 노력에 대해서 노고에 대해서 좀 기억을 해줬으면 하는 게제 바람입니다. We will make another half a century that could be equivalent to the last 50 years. We will make another world shattering history. A happy industrial complex in which humans, companies and industries develop all together will lead the future of Korea, an economic power. Thank you.